Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. So the Most High God wants me to warn you about hypocrites and that he's judging hypocrites and every hypocrite will be known and you will know all the hypocrites and to read the definition of hypocrites and to read some scriptures involving hypocrites and the judgment of hypocrites. All right. So Job 13 and 16, he also shall be my salvation. God is your salvation for a hypocrite shall not come before him. So no hypocrite can come before God. All right. Now, what is a hypocrite? A person who involves indulges in hypocrisy. A person who puts on a false appearance of virtue or religion. A person who acts in contradiction to his or her stated beliefs or feelings. Other words from hypocrite example, a fake, a phony. All right. Hypocrisy is the practice of engaging in the same behavior or activity which one criticizes another or the practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior does not conform. So they're fakes, they're phonies, okay? Now, hypocrite. He wants you to know that the hypocrite reign not, lest the people be ensnared. Job 8 and 13, so are the paths of all that forget God, and the hypocrite's hope shall perish. So God wants you to know, hypocrite's hope shall perish, hypocrite's shall not reign, hypocrite's shall not come before him. And what do hypocrites do? He wants you to know their behavior, their judgment, how they operate. A hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor. But through knowledge shall the just be delivered. And this, Job 27 and 8. For what is the hope of the hypocrite? Because remember up here in Job 8 and 13. And the hypocrite's hope shall perish. So what is the hope of the hypocrite? Though he has gained when God takes away his soul. Because a hypocrite shall not come near him. Now, hypocrites are, you know, they reign. They're put on a pretend show. Remember, um, about two years ago, God made me make a video talking about people, and he calls them pretend shows, and they're hypocrites. You can watch that. I'm walking and talking. Um, Job 20 and 5, that the, the triumphant of the wicked is short, because they won't reign. So if we go back up here, that the hypocrite reign not. So their triumph is short. But the triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Job 17 and 8. Upright men shall be astonished at this, and the innocent shall stir up himself against the hypocrite. So innocent people are the ones stirring up their self against the hypocrite because they're fake. Now, we got to go into the New Testament um, because it goes into what I'm going to read from Doctrine and Covenants, where two or three bear witness and the statement is true. All right, so let's go back here and we're going to read Luke 13 and 15. The Lord... Then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite. So Christ said to him, Thou hypocrite. Thou does, does not each one of you on the Sabbath day loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? So you're supposed to even do good. Now, but they were speaking against Christ because he was doing good on the Sabbath day. And he called them hypocrites. Now, Matthew 7 and 5. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thy own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote of thy brother's eye. So they, hypocrisy is a practice of engaging in the same behavior or activity for, for which one criticizes another or practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior does not conform.
So that's the same thing here that happened in the book of Luke with Christ saying they're hypocrites. And in Matthew 7 and 5, for them to cast out the beam out of thy own eye, then shall thou see clearly the cast out the mold out of thy brother's eye. You can't be telling someone not to do something when you do it. You can't be telling people don't lie on you when you're lying on people. You can't tell people don't cheat if you're cheating. You can't tell people don't steal if you're stealing. Isaiah 9 and 17. Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. For every one is a hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaks folly. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So God's going to stretch out his hands on these hypocrites and evildoers because their mouth speaks folly and they do evil. And he's not going to have mercy on their fatherless or their widows or their young men. Now, we're going to go here in the Doctrine and Covenants and read a little bit in the Book of Mormon. All right. Um, but we'll, Doctrine and Covenants 50 and 6. But woe unto them that are deceivers and hypocrites. For thus says the Lord, I will bring them to judgment. So God will bring the deceivers and hypocrites into judgment. Because hypocrites are deceivers. They're fake people. What you people call fake people. What God calls pretend shows and hypocrites. They're um they're going to be brought into judgment. Doctrine and Covenants 101 and 90. And in his hot displeasure and in his fierce anger and in his time will cut off those wicked, unfaithful and unjust stewards and appoint them their portion among hypocrites and unbelievers. So false prophets, false stewards, people who pretend to be with God, children of God, when they're just wicked religious folks, he is going to appoint them their portion with hypocrites and unbelievers. Doctrine and Covenant 64 and 39. And liars and hypocrites shall be proved by them, and they who are not apostles and prophets shall be known. So all the people who are fake apostles and fake prophets and religious folks, because um, God didn't give you religion. He gave you a heritage. He gave you his word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. He gave you laws, statutes, and commandments to follow. It's either you hear that or you forbear that. God didn't give you religion. He, called, he said he's your father, you are his child, and he gave you commandments just like, like you're, you give your children commandments and you're their parents. God is your parent. He gave you commandments for you to follow. He didn't give you no religion. He gave you law, statutes, commandments. And his word, just like you give your child your word, do not go there. Do not do that. That is what he gave you. And he gave you free will to make a choice. Now, and all and liars and hypocrites. So the liars, liars are hypocrites because their personality is a lie. Their behavior is a lie. The things that they say is a lie. They're putting on a pretend. And liars and hypocrites shall be proved by them, and they who are not apostles and prophets shall be known. So the liars and hypocrites will be known. The fake apostles and prophets shall be known. You will know them by their fruits. And I'm going to say one thing. Despise not prophesizing. And another thing, we prophesize in parts. So when God gives his word to his messengers, you should always take it up with God because there's going to be more things that you need to understand. If you don't understand what they're saying, or you're like, well, this says that, well, then you need to get the understanding from God because you prophesize in part. God is all-knowing, all-seeing. He has all wisdom, all understanding, and all knowledge of all things. Nothing is hid from God. But you have to seek him to get the understanding. 
When prophets seek him, he reveals things unto them. When his children seek him, he reveals things unto them. But they have to continuously be seeking him to get more understanding. So do not despise prophesizing and understand that even when you listen to somebody, they prophesize in part. It's for you now to go up to God with fasting and praying to get clarity and more understanding of the things that you understood not. Okay? False prophets would never tell you that because they just want you to believe everything that they're saying. All right? They're never going to tell you to to seek more deeper, to get gain more understanding from God. They won't teach you that. Now, Doctrine and Covenants 104 and 55. Behold, all these properties are mine, or else your faith is vain, and you are found hypocrites. So you got to know all things are God's. All right? Behold, all these properties are mine, or else your faith is vain, and you are found hypocrites, and the covenants which you have made unto me are broken. Now, Doctrine and Covenants 124 and 8. And that I may visit them in the day of visitation, that I will unveil the face of my covering to appoint the portion of the oppressor among hypocrites, where there is gnashing of teeth if they reject my servants and my testimony, which I have revealed unto them. And he wants me to talk about lawyers, that they're hypocrites. So we're going to go right here in the Book of Mormon. All right. And in 2 Nephi 19 and 17, it references what it said in Isaiah. So I'll just read that. I already read the part of Isaiah for you. But I'll read it again in Nephi because where two or three witnesses, then the statement is true. So Isaiah said it, Nephi said it. That's two witnesses were um, reciting the word of God to you. So that the statement is true. Therefore, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. Neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows, for every one of them is a hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaks folly. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So that is also in Isaiah, what I read for you. I'll just, it's Isaiah 9 and 17. Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. All right, I won't read the whole thing because I just read it. Now, and also what is spoken of in the New Testament with Luke or uh, uh, Matthew, actually Matthew 3, Nephi 4 and 15. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thy own eye. Then shall thou see clearly the cast out the mode out of thy brother's eye. So then you know the statement is true. Now, this is where he's talking about the fake, the false prophets, the false apostles, these fake religious folks, people, you know, three Nephi 13 and 12, 13 and two. Therefore, when you shall do your arms, do not sound a trumpet before you. So people who pray for the pub in public, people who pray for people to see them, remember God um, sees you. So you're supposed to be, this is private. It's your, your prayer is supposed to be private and he will reward you openly. And t- Christ even told you, go in your prayer closet. Let not your right hand know what your left hand's doing. So um, God who sees you in secret will reward you openly. God hears you, sees you, and he knows your heart. But the people who want to be seen by people praying, they are hypocrites. Therefore, when you shall do your alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as will hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets. So people who do that in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Why do they do that? So they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Now, he wants me to read this. But it came to pass, as they began to question him, he perceived their thoughts, and he said unto them, O oh, you wicked and perverse generation, you lawyers and hypocrites, for you are laying the foundations of the devil, for you are laying traps and snares to catch the holy ones of God. So God wants you to know lawyers are hypocrites, 
and they lay the foundation of the devil. That's why there's so much injustice in the court systems. There's so much injustice in the justice system. They don't stand for justice. Not the justice and judgment and righteousness of God. God. So this is what Christ actually said. Perverse generation, you lawyers and hypocrites, for you are laying the foundation of the devil. For you are laying traps and snares to catch the holy ones of God. So God wants you to know lawyers and hypocrites, they set foundations for the devil. They're the ones set in traps and snares to catch the holy ones of God. Now Moroni 8 and 38. Oh, you pollutions, you hypocrites. So he wants you to know hypocrites are polluters. They pollute righteousness they pollute people they pollute brains they pollute the mind they pollute pollute righteousness they pollute the truth oh ye polluters you hypocrites you teachers who sell yourselves for that which will canker remember he says like canker worm why have you polluted the holy church of god why are you why are you ashamed to take upon you the name of christ why do you not think that greater is the value of an endless happiness than that misery which never dies? Because of the praise of the world. So hypocrites and teachers and lawyers want the praise of the world and they won't take up the name of Christ. Um, if we go, I'll just put in lawyers. Christ talks about the lawyers. All right. Luke 7 and 30. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. And then this is why they set the foundations of the devil. Luke 11 and 52. Woe unto you, lawyers. What Woe, you, woe means troubles, trials, tribulation, chaos, tragedies, calamities. So God is saying, Christ said, woe. On Christ said, Woe unto you, lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You entered not in yourselves. You know how they're so speaky spoky and they think that they're more intelligent than you and that they're they're speaking righteousness and justice and peace and equity and and true judgment when they're not. They taken away the key of knowledge. You enter not in yourselves. And them that were entering in, you hindered. They hindered them by how? How did they hinder the people that were coming in? For they were laying the foundations of the devil. They were laying traps and snares to catch the holy ones of God. Now, Luke 11 and 46, and he said, woe unto you also, you lawyers, for you laid men with burdens grievous to be born. So they give people judgments that are grievous to be born, Christ said, and you yourself touch not the burdens with one of your fingers. So do you see why God said that you lawyers and hypocrites for you are laying the foundation of the devil? For you are laying traps and snares to catch the holy ones of God. And that, oh, you polluters, you hypocrites, you teachers who sell yourselves for that which canker. Why have you polluted the holy church of God? Why are, why are you ashamed to take upon you the name of Christ? Were they not ashamed to take up? They reject, but the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized. They rejected God's word. That's why it says, For you have taken away the key of knowledge. You enter not in yourselves. That them and, and them that were entering in, you hindered. All right, people of God. So that is what God wants you to know. Alma 34 and 20, and now behold, my beloved brethren, I say unto you, do not suppose that this is all for after you have done all these things, if you turn away the needy and the naked and visit not the sick and the afflicted and impart 
of your substance. If you have to those who stand in need, I say unto you, if you do not any of these things, behold, your prayer is vain and avails you nothing. And you are as hypocrites who do deny the faith. So if you turn away the needy, the naked, you don't visit the sick and the afflicted, you don't give any of your substance where you see people are in need, God said your prayer is vain. It avails, no it avails you nothing. You are as hypocrites who deny the faith. Were not the lawyers and the Pharisees hypocrites who denied the faith? But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves. So, um, beautiful people of God, this is the message. Um, hypocrites, God's judging hypocrites and lawyers and because they're hypocrites and um, they don't hold up his justice and his peace and God is supposed to be your salvation. They actually reject God. They reject God's counsel. So when you reject God, God rejects you. He told you that. If you forsake him, he'll forsake. He said he will never forsake you, but if you reject him, then you know that you're rejected. Job 13 and 16. He also shall be my salvation. God is not their salvation. They lay the foundations of the devil. For a hypocrite shall not come before him. They won't come before him. And the hypocrite's desire shall perish. So, um, beautiful people of God. You can definitely take this up with fasting and praying and may God bless you and keep you. And I know I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I was actually having some technical difficulties with my laptop, um, but it's all sorted out now. And um, you stay blessed and may God keep you, guide you, enlighten you and go before you as an everlasting light and open all doors for you and make every crook thing straight and give you clarity and truth in everything. May, may God's peace be upon you. Stay blessed.